Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to do Mock Rider. Let's see, fighting course, endurance course, or a solo course? Huh, let's, let's go, let's do one of each. Let's start off with fighting course. In the year 2112, the Earth has been invaded by evil forces. Journey to neighboring sectors destroying invaders, huh? Alright. You are Mock Rider. How did I blow up? Wow. Controls are... Like, you move and you move and Jesus. <laughs> I, I, I honestly wonder if the people that programmed any of these motorcycle games have ever been on a motorcycle. Because I know when I go out riding, it's not quite to this extreme on any of this stuff. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> wow! Oh, this is... This is something. It's not necessarily bad. One, You just got to really kind of... Oh, I'm out of energy and I blow up. Okay. This kind of reminds me of a two-wheeled version of Knight Rider a little bit. Let's just try an enduring course. Let's let's go within time. I don't understand why I'm all of a sudden blowing up. Like it doesn't make any sense. This is just an endurance course. I'm, I, I'm not fighting anything. Why am I... And why is my guy not driving all of a sudden? Now he's going. I, I don't know what's going on here, but... <laughs> Oil slick. Ugh. The controls are very just... When you go a direction, you go a direction. <laughs> You go, I swear. There's no like half turn. It's like you are just either on your knee or you're going or you're straight. There is really no in between. And these turns are just insanely annoying. It's another where you don't have a break because you're, you're, you, you shoot instead. So you, you just let go of the button to kind of break or slow down. But apparently it's a very... <laughs> it's, either you, it's either one or the other. You're either down or you're sitting up. You're either full throttle or you're stopped. But there's like no in-between on anything. And everything is so... Like, uh, overemphasized is kind of what I'm thinking. Uh. I'm sure once you really started playing this for a while... See, like, I don't understand why I'm, I'm holding the, doing the same thing. There we go. And like the placement of all the things, you, it's all like, you're just destined to just, you, you. All right, so you just kinda stop and it's a stop and go. Oh, so you have, okay, I, you know, I didn't know this until now. You do have, uh, you shift. Alright, fair enough. Shifting is good. 
it's still a really very difficult uh A very, very difficult controlling. I think once you get the hang of uh, shifting. I, I don't understand this whole blowing up all of a sudden thing. Okay, so you have a rear view. You're trying to pay attention to all the oil slicks, all the crazy crap going on in the thing, and then you got to pay attention to your rear view mirror. That you did, literally, they are like heat sinking things. Every time I've tried to avoid them, no matter what I did, they were making sure that uh, we were not getting away from them. Hey, we did something! We got there! We're getting the hang of this! <laughs> we destroyed one! <laughs> oh, Lord. But hey, we, we got there! Oh, my Lord! Look at the courses! Alright, do we want A or B? Let's go this one! Alright, that's some crazy... Uh, Alright, so at least this game, they actually change the scenery. I mean, this honestly is already better. Ugh, rocks. Of course there's rocks. It's already better than Night Rider. You can actually get pat things. That whole coming up behind you and not being able to avoid them really is pretty frustrating. Alright, we'll do a couple more just to kind of, now that we're kind of understanding a bit more. Changing gears. It doesn't change a lot, but it does change enough. Oh, come on! Jeez. Ah, hit the water. As an avid motorcyclist, I can tell you that hitting a little puddle of water, even full puck down, is not going to have you just slip and sliding right off to the side. Doesn't happen. You have qualified. You could try it. All right. We qualified somehow, some way. I mean, with that being said, there are varied on your your tires and the puddle and things yes it can but for the most part you can still just ride through it but anyway oh the rear view mirror thing is uh is a little frustrating yeah see like if you watch they, they go and you no matter what you do you are getting hit by those things and it's ridiculous oh wow these levels are just insane <laughs> this game is a very difficult game to control and to 
go through. I'm sure after a while you get the hang of it more, and if you're into this kind of thing, I'm sure you can have some fun with it. It's not really my thing. I would rather just get on my bike and just ride for real. <laughs> like, there's too much shit! Did, did you... You don't fire fast enough. If you're damned if you do, damned if you don't. Almost nothing matters. You just kind of... And we're done. Did we qualify? No, we died. Well then. That is Mech Rider. It is a bit like uh, Knight Rider, only actually a lot better. Like all things aside, it is it is a is a far far better in almost every aspect than Knight Rider. But with that being said, it still has a lot of uh, a lot of issues where they do the difficulty thing where they just throw so much stuff at you. You, you go around and turn and it's like, oh, hey, look at all the stuff you got to all of a sudden avoid. So you have to really, it's one of those memorization things after a while playing the same thing over and over. You do get to choose repeatedly different courses to go on, which gives a lot of variety and a lot of changing for uh, replayability. If you could see, there was like, what, 10 or 15 different uh, tracks. And on top of that, there was two per so, I mean, that's a good a lot of variety on there. And we were still on one even after we did like two. So, a lot of stuff going on. You got the fighting Enduro Solo. solo. Looks like we can design a track. Um, so, that's kind of interesting. I really have no real desire to get into that at the moment. But very interesting to say the least. Um, the controls are very, very just kind of one or the other. Like I said, you're either all the way on the side or you're up. There is no kind of like, n kind of slightly turning a corner. That There really is none of that. Um, once you get used to the shifting gears, it actually does make a huge difference. Uh, when at the first time I was playing it, I didn't pay attention to that. I was just kind of going up and didn't notice. But um, once you actually understand downshifting and upshifting, you can kind of uh, control yourself a little bit better. But um, after the first level, the amount of stuff they throw at you is insane. The whole guy coming up behind you and pretty much I have not found a way yet to be able to avoid him. Like you move and it almost tracks your movement so he moves exactly with you. And every time I tried to avoid and zigzag and do stuff, he was always on my ass until boom, kills you. Uh, luckily you can... It's not about dying, it's just kind of getting through. So no matter how many times you get blown up, as long as you can go fast enough and do decent enough, you can still make it through for the most part. So there's there's a lot of issues that could be a lot better. But all in all, with that saying, I mean, it's not the worst game I've played it is in kind of this genre, so to speak. And uh, there's enough variety, enough changing they did just enough to make the levels different, unlike like Knight Rider stuff where it's always just the same boring bullshit over and over and over again. I keep going back to that one because that was the most recent one that we have done. And if you've been following the, the thing, you, you've seen what it was and you know what I'm talking about more so than just naming a bunch of random stuff. Um, so with that being said, guys, this is uh, Mock Rider. I'm Mike. Talk to you later.